I want to ask you first the macro story. We've seen, you know, with Airbnb, certain behaviors with short-term rentals, you know, when it comes to, to houses. What do you see right now in consumer behavior with listing their vehicles on Turo? Is it because they're under pressure financially or otherwise? Thanks for having me. Uh, delighted to be here. The uh, picture on the uh, community uh, of the Turo hosts that we've got has been very, very positive over the last couple of years. As you know, prices have gone up, car prices have gone up, interest rates have gone up, and more people are looking for ways to make their car actually make sense financially for them. So we've seen tremendous growth in our hosting community. Uh, we've seen a lot of people also start building businesses on top of our app. So we've seen those uh, multi-car hosts really take hold in the community of Turo hosts, and now we're excited to be able to have both consumer hosts and multi-car host entrepreneurs who are building small fleets on top of our app. The story of the year has been artificial intelligence, either generative AI tools or using a large language model to underpin your existing technology. What's Turo up to in the field of AI? Well, we're, we've jumped into it. Uh, as you may have uh, seen, we uh, launched our uh, plugin for ChatGPT. We're excited about the initial traction that we're seeing. We think that can really transform the way people discover. How, how does it work in basic, in basic terms? So you, you, uh, you add the plugin to ChatGPT, you download it, to, to, uh, you add it to your ChatGPT app, and you have the Turo plugin on it. And then you can start navigating Turo in really uh, fun ways. You can actually ask to uh, get really wonderful cars in a particular location, and you can describe the kinds of cars that you'd like, the kind of budget that you have, the sort of specs that you'd like, and then ChatGPT will provide you with an incredible selection from Turo. So at, at its core, it, it's basically automation search, but at a next level. Yeah, instead of having the customer go in to search and enter a lot of different criteria and filter through makes and models and prices and all the kinds of specs you can imagine when you're trying to perf find the perfect car for your trip, you can just ask GPT, ChatGPT to do that for you, and we can deliver great selection thanks to the combination of our plugin with ChatGPT. So what's the result been for Turo? Has it increased volume of traffic to the app or, or any actually easier matches? It's easier matching, yeah. We're seeing both an increase in uh, the matching rates as well as uh, growth in traffic because more and more people are discovering now Turo through ChatGPT, which is really an interesting development for us. Final quick, quick one growth of Turo. Where are you growing right now, you know, either here domestically in the U.S. or internationally? Uh, actually, we're growing uh, in all of our locations. We expanded last year in France and Australia. Australia was our most recent launch in November of last year. The U.S. business continues to grow rapidly, uh, and, you know, we're excited to continue to expand geographically. We see Turo having an opportunity to be everywhere uh, around the world.